Hey guys, Potato here, showing you how to mod post Sky Fortress. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to mod weapons. Um, so first off, you'll need to go to your Just Cause 3 directory into, and then into DLC underscore Win64 and Sky Fortress. So in order to access these, you, you won't have those unless you've already modded it. Um, in order to access the files, you drag the .tab files onto unpack, this one, not small unpack, unpack. Let this run, and when it finishes, you'll have uh, a new folder called game etc underscore unpack. And if you open it up, it'll have an unknown folder. It may have a bunch of files in here. Those are just as easily to mod as unknown files if anything easier because you don't have to search through every single one of these files trying to find what you're looking for. Um, so do those for every single one. The most useful stuff is in tab 1. Um, sorry, game 1. Um, just let this unpack and I can show you the ones that I have uh, highlighted. There we go. Um, ADF, is, you drag onto convert ADF. Um, it'll create a .xml file, which you can open using, I use Notepad++. I'll put a link to download in the description. And then you can, everything after, here you can touch, but be gentle, is where you can touch, as long as you're gentle. Only if you're gentle, I'm just kidding. Go fucking mental. Don't touch any of the stuff up here. Um, I have already unpacked all of that and into this folder. Um, there is an error that can occur if you, if the path where you've installed Just Cause 3 is too long. So, for example, this that's a bunch of characters, but by the time you've gone into whatever you want to edit, say game pack one, AAF, AF you unpack using small unpack, uh, you just let it extract and you'll have a, another folder like with, uh, when you did the big unpack, or you know, big unpack, open it up and then you'll have DLC, etc. But then you'll notice by now, this path is starting to get very, very long, and the unpack does not like that at all. So, I'd recommend finding somewhere um, with a very short file path, which is what this folder here I've made is for. See? Really short file path, I can unpack stuff in here. So these are the useful ones that I found. Uh, all are in uh, game 1. Uh, these codes are the, how the game identifies them. And the first, this letter here identifies whether it's a vehicle or a weapon, so a VOW. Uh, this one here, E96D585E, this is the wingsuit. And the Bavarian Splitter is B723086E. Um, we will edit the Bavarian Splitter in this tutorial, however, I will need to grab a, an unmodified version of it, screen around with that one. Um, wait, shit. Uh, B723086E. Search it in here. There it is. Um, File location. A small unpack, as it is an AAF file. And then just in here, I'm gonna cut this out to my folder so I can safely edit it. Uh, you'll find all of the DLC files under the DLC. Uh, all of the usual weapon files, if there are, will be under editor, 
and then entities and you'll see them all here. Uh, there'll usually be another folder in here which I can show you here which is now under DLC because it's new which will be two-handed and then you'll have all the stuff here. Um, we'll be changing this .wtunic file. You can modify it using either convert ADF or you can use a hex decimal converter by dragging and just dropping it in there. Um, I I prefer using the hex decimal converter, but for simplicity's sake, I will show you how to use the uh, the easier method because it's it's easier. So find where you can touch, and then right here, magazine size. It's currently 60. Set that to whatever you want, 120. Max range, 10,000. Why not? Reload how far? Reload time scale. How fast you reload? Five times faster. Velocity. Why not? 90, 900,000. Fire rate. Fire rate. You divide whatever this number. One divided by whatever this number is. So, if I just real quick drag this up. One divided by 0 0.043. So it'll shoot 23 times a second. That's not fast enough. I reckon. I reckon that's probably fast enough. Divided by 0 0.00043. There we go, 2,325 shots per second. Burst count, how many bullets it'll shoot. Um, every burst, how fast you could burst fire, whether or not it's fully automatic. This can only be one or zero. So don't, if you change it to two, it won't read it properly. Um, UI settings, scatter it. Scatter is how inaccurate it is. But note, this is UI settings. So if you change UI at biggest, it will not actually change the scatter at biggest of the gun. It'll only be for the UI. Unlimited ammo? Yes, please. That's true or false. Uh, I, I, I've just learned which stuff is true or false just by practice. You'll figure it out if it works or not, because if you set it to say three, it probably won't work. Uh, impulse is what happens when the bullet hits it and gets knocked back by how much. 40 is really insignificant, so I'm going to change this up to really, really massive, so when I shoot something, it goes flying. Damage factor, multiply this by how much damage it does to vehicles, so I'm going to set this to, say, 5, so it can destroy vehicles really easily. But object damage factor, I'm going to have that at 0 0.2, so it's not going to be able to destroy objects as easy. Set the object impulse factor to the same and vehicle impulse factor to the same recoil yaw is recoil side to side recoil pitch is recoil up and down recoil for short multiplier how much recoil per first shot um self-explanatory scatter this is where the actual scatter is so as you can see this is um this is actually very inaccurate if i change this to zero the scatter minimum your first shot will always be very 100% uh, accurate. Scatter at maximum. I'm going to bring this down so its worst accuracy is better. Scatter per shot. I'm going to decrease that so it's slightly more accurate. I'm going to see if it's 0, 7, 5. Multiply by movement. So this times this times this gives you how much your maximum scatter is. Oh yeah, uh, multiply this by this this by this to give you your scatter while you're moving and your scatter while aiming scatter recovery rate how fast you recover from scatter uh etc shake is the camera shaking side to side so in this one um the shake will shake for 0.25 fall off one second you just have to play around with that rumble is um it's like another type of shake except i don't know side to side i guess i don't know mount input mounted input um doesn't apply to this weapon because it at no point is mounted. So, uh, for example, the minigun can be mounted, but um, can you can also take it off the stand. Um, bullet tune settings, bullet trace of velocity. That's that's uh, I forget. Just set this to whatever you just set the trace of fire velocity to whatever your bullet velocity is. Uh, to avoid any um, lag, because some the uh, trace of velocity, I think, off the top of my head, don't quote me on this, is how um, uh, Bandicam's about to cut me up. Okay, uh, I guess this is the end of part one.
uh, music in description, downloads for Notepad++ in description. See ya.